What is going on, folks? I am Goat. Hi, how you doing? So just before this next uh, Dark Sector video uploads, which is uploading as we speak, but this will definitely uh, hit it first. Uh, I just want to put this out there that um, this video that's posting is going to be the last of the Dark Sector videos. It's a twofold thing here, okay? For one, the big question that I asked in the community tab was, you know, would you guys like to see me play Dark Sector to see how much of a link between Dark Sector and Warframe there actually is? Because Dark Sector was basically Digital Extreme's first attempt at reaching out and, you know, building a game. And it was not a very highly successful game, but it was used in the premise of they were able to cannibalize some of the things from Dark Sector. Uh, you know, some game mechanics, some visuals, some names, um, you know, some general enemies and so on and so forth. And just like I said, kind of cannibalize that and rebuild it into something so much better, which we have learned to come as being Warframe. But is there a direct link? No. <laughs> um, and then the other part is, is that the game is just so old, okay? When you're working with a console and you're sharing from a console, which I used to do, but I don't do anymore because the, uh, the video out on my, my old-ass PlayStation fucking crapped out finally. <clears throat> When you're working with a console, the computer basically reads through your your uh, capture card, you know, whatever the resolution is, and it makes it fit to your screen. To where this is a setup of Dark Sector through PC downloaded through Steam, and so the 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 newer Windows systems have a hard time recognizing the older resolution scales of said games. So you basically have to go into like the fucking drivers and the BIOS and shit and actually change the resolution scales of the game in order to actually see a full screen representation. And even then it's still going to come out kind of boxy, almost like you're using a fucking cell phone, looking at a monitor and it gets to the problem to where, as you guys have seen me play thus far, um, you know, like you can't see the actions. You can't see what the game is trying to tell you in the notes because even from my view, it's cut off of the fucking screen. And I honestly, I don't feel the necessity to go through the bios and the drivers and everything else and try to fix said problem when the entirety of my question behind it has really already been answered. So I'm just not going to continue it just because it, it, at this point, it's quite obviously represented that this was just the early stages of where Warframe was going as a game, but not as a story. So, uh, I mean, kudos to Digital Train for a game of its type at that point, and especially the fact that it didn't really hit as a home run, but it does kind of have a mild cult following behind it, and that's great. But I'm just going to be going back into more Warframe-based videos. That being said, I do have um, some kind of casual Steel Path tutorial videos set up. I'm going to kind of review them before I post them, um, and then we'll kind of go from there. But aside from that, this is where we are Um Sorry if anybody doesn't like the decision, but it's just really honestly a, a fucking hassle that I don't want to deal with. And it has already answered its own question in every sense of the word. So, but that's it for now. So thanks very much. And we'll catch you in the next video. All right.